Doctor, let's continue with doing what we, we love the most, which is um, you know, uh, communicating with people, having that conversation, a life-changing moment in our lives. Well, before a life-changing moment, the AI, it's a, I think it's an artificial intelligence. They think I'm not real. So, hey, AI, I'm real. I'm sneezing. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously, I, I know this is what I, I didn't come up with to talk about that. But, you know, I wrote a book, Leadership in the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Yeah. And I believe we are now have entered the fifth in, uh, in industrial revolution where machine learning, where artificial intelligence, they pick up something about Ayman. It cannot be Malapo because... David Mlapo is supposed to be overseas, and whenever you're in South Africa, you know, what's happening. So maybe they think you are using me as a robot, and I'm not permission, I want. Yeah. And give us suit, because the AI is not going to be able to do But Brother Ray, today I want to talk about the first part on the enemies of success, mm -hmm. and then the second part I want to talk about confidence, the success booster. Since that. Yes, uh, this is MBS Mind, Body and Soul, knowledge worth sharing. Guys, thank you so much for spending this beautiful time with me. And Dr. Mulapo, it's going to be great. Like I said, you know what? Um, if, if you know, and if you know what you want, I can tell you. So, thank you so much for joining us, Vimo. Thank you so much. Uh, it means a lot to be Claudia Z. Um, guys, Manana, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I know, guys, like I said, pen and paper, it will definitely be a good thing for you. Believe it or not, pen and paper, because what we're going to be talking about tonight, it's exactly what you guys are struggling on. It's exactly what you struggle. Everyone wants to be successful, right? But there's a problem of that thing that we're going to be talking about tonight, that self-confident thing. How did you lose that? Because that's exactly what we want to touch base into. So Dr. Mulapo, the floor is all yours, and um, I'm going to be on autopilot. You run the show. Thank you so much, my brother Ray, and thanks so much, ladies and gentlemen. I can see your comments, your positive comments. I really appreciate that. What is success? Some people define success, brother Ray, in various ways. People think I'm successful because I have a big car, I live in a mansion, I've got kids, and those things are great, but really they are the products of success. To me, I've got interesting definitions of success. Number one, to be successful is to be at peace with God and with yourself. When you come to that state, when you're at peace with God, peace with yourself, to me that, that is a success. Because I work with a lot of people with psychosocial issues. People who are stressed, they have anxiety, they uh, sometimes have depressive moods and things like that. Those people are not successful. They are really going through turmoil. So we need to strive, first of all, to come to that point where you're at peace with God and peace with yourself. It does not mean that success means the absence of challenges or problems. It means in the midst of challenges, in the midst of problems, you are successful because you are at peace with yourself and God. There is a scripture that says that God will give us the peace that passes all understanding. It means, brother, you can't explain it. In the middle of storms and tornadoes, but you are still at peace. You know, I can't, uh, probably not quite deal with We're not successful. Well, I'll give you a piece of my mind. Luena, a piece of my mind. Luena, a piece of my mind. No wonder you don't have any mind left. <laughs> that piece I wanted, ah, another piece it ah. But godly success being means being at peace with yourself and with God. Definitely. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. And then the, the, the other one here, yeah, success is, success is a progressive realization of a goal, ideal, or a dream. Success is progressive. It is a realization. But for you and I to realize that, you need to understand it's progressive. So this first portion, I want to talk to, uh, to people today about what are the enemies of success? What is stopping you from being at peace with yourself and with God? What is stopping you from being successful at home, in your life, in the workplace, mobile pilong, and and just generally? Five things. And you mentioned Malapo, why five things? Because David is a five letter word, I get D-A-V-I-D, joking. <laughs> <laughs> number one, the enemy of success, number one, is unrealistic expectations. And the problem is, this is heavy. Because unrealistic expectations, if you do not reach your goal because of unrealistic expectation, be careful. Then you end up 
taking an offense. When you see somebody succeeding, you become offended. But I stop it up. When you're offended, you become angry. And when you become angry, you become bitter. And when you become bitter, you become jealous. And when you become jealous, already you begin to have negative things. Not about that person alone, but about yourself. Unrealistic expectations is an enemy of success. Where you set yourself up for failure or disappointment. Where you set your goals beyond your potential and capacity. So in the term of how, therefore, can I mitigate this unexpected expectation? Here's my advice. You must have an HSA. That's why Brother Rea said, what is HSA? It means honest self-assessment. You must be honest and assess yourself. Where are you? Are you ready? Are you resourceful? Are those goals realistic? Are they tangible? Number one enemy of success is unrealistic expectation. Number two, poor planning. Poor planning can lead to unproductive and immature outputs. Your planning, at least was our plan, but the poor planning. And then with Araiki right, Tibetaka luck. And you know what is the meaning of luck? L U C K. It means you labor under correct knowledge. I don't want to luck. You know, kill like you. No, 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 no. Luck means L U C. You still labor under correct knowledge. But the second enemy of success, you don't labor under correct knowledge. It's you are not planning properly. You're planning, but your planning is poor. So how do you defend that? You must have a process and a pattern. For me to be successful as an inspirational speaker, I had to have a process and a pattern. If you want to be good at a particular thing, do you know the 10,000 hour model? It says, if you watch, if you practice for 10,000 hours, if you watch something for 10,000, a skill is developed. If you want to be a big speaker, if you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to be involved in real estate, you want to be successful in whatever thing, you've got to spend at least 10 hours. Because that 10 hours in your modular blend, oblongata, it means proper planning. It's a process, it is a pattern, and sooner or later, a skill is developed and a habit is formed. So I repeat, the number one enemy of your success and my success is unrealistic expectations. Number two, it's poor planning. Number three, it's negative self-perception. How do you think of yourself? Remember, how you think of yourself will determine how you present yourself. If you think like that, you will present yourself like Bari or Moho. How many of us sometimes we do not have a positive self-perception? Maybe because people told you you're stupid, you'll never amount to anything. Or maybe you are hard on yourself. Have you noticed you never catch yourself doing something right? You always catch yourself doing something wrong. I blew it. I'm an idiot. I messed up, whatever. Guys, come on, ladies and gentlemen. 99% of the things you have done correctly. Pat yourself in the back. Encourage yourself. The Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. It does not mean that everything was fine. So the third thing that can be the enemy of your success is your negative self-perception. How you think of yourself will determine how you present yourself. How do you do that? Realizing that you are special. Meh. My brother, my sister, and daddy, you are special. You are unique. You matter. The mere fact that you are here, you matter. And the sooner you realize that, that you need to have an adjustment. You need to have a paradigm shift, a mindset shift, so that you uh, get rid of this negative self-perception about yourself. You know, Prade, if you're negative, people actually, you attract negative people. Have you noticed that? Yeah. We, we can run over that person. Yeah. So because number I, one, go ahead. Mm. I, I think people, they treat you the way you treat yourself. Correct. Okay, because so number one, the enemy of, sex, uh, of success, key unexpected, uh, you know, uh, realization of your, or uh, unrealistic expectations. Yep. Number two is poor planning. But number three, 
is your negative self perception. Because if we're in a cabo, uh, you, you, you don't believe in yourself. Why must people believe in you? They will never, definitely. And the problem with perception is this, brother, that a perception is neither true or false. Keep perception is neither true or false. Yes. But when how you present it, then the people will say, okay, if you present it like that, it means you are like that. Which brings us to number four. Number four is lack of sense of agency. The enemy of success, brother Ray, is I don't have that sense of agency. I procrastinate. That's a quality procrastination is the thief of time. <laughs> yeah. Kita, niza. Mm -hmm. Then your life becomes haphazard. The lack of sense of agency, you become laid back. And Africans, more is not a dag. More is not a dag. You know, with that more is not a dag attitude, simply because you don't have that sense of agency. So yeah. I want to encourage you. You and I, I'm going to teach you today how to develop an ever ready mindset. Bible Iri, be ready in season and out of season. In other words, be flexible enough to adapt to any immediate response. Something that needs an immediate response you must be able to adapt and adjust. And I believe that success responds to efficiency. Success responds to efficiency and to agency. But what are you successful? No, no, no. You were prepared. Here's an opportunity because only this sense of agency. Something came up, bam. You, uh, you, you responded to it, mm. and then people are successful. Ten yards, you respond to pain. But in 24 hours, you respond to pain. Again. Yeah, so the fourth thing that is the enemy of a success, brother Ray, is a sense of agency. I, I'll do it tomorrow. Let me think about it. It's okay to think about it. But you can't think about it after 21 days or two hours, you still think about it. <laughs> you know, when I went through my difficult time, yep. uh, people used to say, and Tatem Lapo, we will pray for you. You know what I'll do? I'll stop and say, Chief, pray for me when? Now. Because when you say you will pray, uh, you meet 16 people, you forgot I'm number 17, you don't even pray for me. You, you even forget, definitely. You it's even it's, forget. it's human nature. You have yep. amnesia. Keta, Niza. You know, that is why sometimes we must always remind people. Even Jesus, I like what Jesus says. Jesus will speak to the people, but they don't have sense of agency. Again, I say unto you, I'm not here for a long time. Yeah, definitely. Then number five, undervaluing yourself is the enemy of success. Mm. Listen to this, brother. Right? Undervaluing your success. You ask a person, Ufunani, no mayini. I'm hiring you. What is the value? He matot. You harm your self-image and rob yourself of opportunities because you undervalue that God-given asset. You're an asset to the world. You are somebody important, but when you undervalue yourself, you become your worst enemy and end up, here's a scary part, compromising your values, your standards, even your beliefs, because you undervalue yourself. And that is why today I want to spend time on dealing with these five enemies of success by teaching you on confidence, the success booster. I get never the booster. I got corona, but I get back a booster. Yeah, both yeah. the booster. Yeah. And stuff so like the that. booster for Naki, confidence, not arrogance. Arrogance is showing off to people, but confidence is showing you that you've got a God-given ability, that God has given you the skill set to be able to project yourself and become a valuable asset to community. When later on people will say you are a success. Yeah, that's true. Those five things. And then we're talking about self-confidence. Number one, the enemy of success is unrealistic expectations. Number two, poor planning. Number three, negative self-perception. Number four, the lack of sense of urgency. Number five, undervaluing yourself. So the next session after this music, I'm going to teach you on how to get this booster called self-confidence.